Welcome to the second Cambridgeshire and Essex branch Butterfly Conservation virtual field trip. Welcome to Devil's Dyke. This is a Newmarket race course, so on the border between Cambridgeshire and Suffolk. It's an ancient Saxon earthwork and it's also one of the best bits of chalk grassland we have in the county. It's got lots of famous county species, chalk hill blues in high summer, dingy skipper, green hair streak in spring. We're recording this in mid-June. I think the dingies will have finished and the chalk hills are not on the wing yet, but there's a few, in, a few species around. As you can see, it's a very steep grassy slope with a public right of way along the top. This big grassy black bank is excellent for all of the chalk grassland species. It faces south, so it gets a big pile of sun most of the day, a gigantic radiator. It's quite popular today as it's one of the first weekend since everyone's been allowed back out. It's been very, very dry this spring, so the grass isn't at its best. I'm not even sure how many things we're going to see. It's looking a little bit brown. Butterfly Conservation has worked with the Jockey Club, the owners of this stretch of the dike, on managing for butterflies over the last 10 to 15 years. We come in every winter and do scrub cutting by hand. There's also a transect walk along here, which is part of the National Monitoring Scheme and tells us a lot about the butterfly species. We've come off the top of the dike and on a small path not halfway along the slope looking at the stretch that as a branch we actually manage. So part of this area, once every winter we come in with brush cutters, cut the grass, take some of the scrub out um, and take it all to the bottom out of the way. Here's some horseshoe vetch, the food plant of the caterpillars of Chalk Hill Blue. It's not a particularly flowery time at the moment. There are marbled white on the wing and small heath. I haven't been able to get one in the videos, they're so fast moving. It's a little bit breezy today. A little bit further along, but still on the race course, this stretch is managed much more for dingy skipper and green hair streak. It's much more of a mosaic of light scrub and slightly longer grass. Um, they, they seem to prefer that and that's how we manage it again one visit a year in the winter. The Jockey Club have been taking out a bit of the larger birch trees on the other side of the ditch where they're creating a little bit too much shade. They haven't quite tidied those up yet but I'm sure they will fairly soon. Six kilometres further along the dike is the Burwell Cutting intersection. It's getting a little bit scrubbier here but it's still very, very good habitat. Popular the green hair streak and also with Chalk Hill Blue and other grassland butterflies. There's still lots and lots of flowers. The, the cutting is private, so please don't trespass away from the dike's public footpaths. Butterfly Conservation the Branch don't actually do any management on this stretch at all. It's purely down to the landowner, but it's still looking pretty good, although a little scrubbier than last time I came here. There's a broomstone just flying past. don't know whether that got recorded or not. It's just on this lucerne in front of us. There's a small heath here on the bare ground and coming in towards it. It's just about visible in the middle of the shot. Basking, taking in the heat as it's quite a warm afternoon. Lucerne is popular with everything. Bumblebees as well. Brimstone. This stretch of the Devil's Dyke on the Gulf Racecourse is known as the Gap. There's the dike at its height. It's a really big gap. And then at this side it's much, much lower. It was lowered in the second on the wall, which there was a huge price of that. Very handy to have a smaller and lower stretch for a bit of easy walking. Pyramidal orchid in Bomber Gap. Kidney vetch. Birds for trefoil. The scrubbiness of Bomber Gap is really, really good for green hair streak. They're over now. There were plenty of them about a month, month and a half ago though. The horseshoe vetch is flowering in profusion at the moment. And uh, I'm sure there's plenty of chalk hill blue pupae in there as well, mixed in with lucerne and a few pyramidal orchids here and there. 
salad than it. And plenty of grasses in the scrub. Ideal butterfly habitat. It's time to leave the dike for the day now. I'm afraid I didn't show you on video the marbled white, but there were several flying around. I may add a couple of photos of them afterwards so that you can see. As we walk back to the car park, the end by the road is much scrubbier and darker. Although the elms up there are quite good for white letter hair streak in a week or so's time when they're out. I hope you've enjoyed the brief virtual tour and hope that in the future you get a chance to join us on an actual tour of the dike either at Dingy Skipper or Chalk Hill Blue Season. Bye.